Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you which workstation I use or better which workstations I use. So yeah, let's get started. For the CPU I use a Ryzen 7 5800X. It's a really good CPU. So I also could use a Ryzen 9 or something, but I think it's a little bit too expensive and it doesn't matter that much for uh, 3D rendering because I use a GPU renderer and yeah, it's better to use that uh, instead of, um, I don't know, putting too much money into a CPU. That's because I choose this one. For the mainboard I use a Asus uh, Rock Strix X507F gaming <laughs> it's uh, really hard to spell uh, sometimes and yeah it's a um, really really good mainboard i like the rgb stuff on it it's really nice i i like it you can uh, drag uh, two or three graphics cards on it that's because i chose this one and yeah you also could use the ryzen 9 but i really don't need that that's because uh, yeah i don't use it and uh, the maximum of ram that you can use is uh, 64 gigabytes of DDR4 and it's really nice. I like it. It's enough to use everything I need. The RAM that I use is 64 gigabytes um, of uh, G-Skill RAM. It's really nice. It's uh, it's 3200 uh, megahertz uh, RAM. I don't know. It's uh, not much a difference between this uh, speeds of RAM. I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. So that's because I just use this one. It's uh, yeah, it's enough. It's good. I like it. It's fast enough to yeah, run everything I want. For the GPU, I use uh, first my old GTX 1070. It's a really good graphics card, if eight gigabyte of RAM. But the uh, second or the first uh, graphics card that I use is uh, RTX 3090. It's a really really good card. It uh, has 24 gigabytes of RAM. I really like it. You can render really, really fast with it. It's one of the best graphics cards that you get on the market now. It's really, really good. I like it. So, yeah, that's because I chose this one. For the case, I have a Be Quiet Dark Base 700 Pro. It's a really good case. It's quiet and uh, it has this little window on the side that you can use to yeah, see the uh, whole uh, workstation and everything. I really like it. And uh, yeah, I like the look of it. I like the RGB on it. I don't have these fancy RGB fans and yeah, I don't really need that. It's it's enough to yeah have this uh, type of case and everything. It, it works, it's quiet and I really like it. As I told you in the intro, I have two workstations. The second workstation that I use is um, uh, all the version of my PC that I have. So I upgraded to the new mainboard and the new uh, CPU. That's because I used the uh, old hardware from my PC to build the second uh, workstation to render when I'm yeah working and uh, yeah, try to do another scene when I have a quick deadline. Sometimes I need to do more like one scene. So so I just do one uh, scene and send it to the render uh, renderer PC and then uh, I can work on another scene and render this on my main PC or maybe the other one is finished and then I can uh, yeah give him the other job, the other scene that uh, yeah, can render it. That's, uh, I think that the uh, explanation is right. I really like this. That's because I uh, took a second PC. The second PC has a Ryzen 7 1700X. It's the older version of the Ryzen 7. That's because I chose it and I already had it. And um, for the RAM, I just use 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's enough for just the render PC. It's no name RAM. It's, yeah, it's enough. It's just for uh, loading my scene for ready for the GPU and everything. And the GPU I use is the second uh, RTX 3090. It's the I already said a really good card and yeah, as I told you, it's better to outsource my my power for rendering because when I work on many, many jobs or many, many scenes in one time and I need to finish this in a yeah, hard deadline or something, then I have uh, yeah, then I have the benefit that I can use a second PC to double my render time or yeah, try to work on another scene when I'm uh, also rendering the other scene that I did before. That's really good. I really like that. So yeah, now I'll show you some benchmarks um, for rendering. I uh, show you some of the renders I did with my uh, GTX 1070 that only have uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and they yeah, are comparison to the RTX 3090. Maybe it helps you a little bit. Maybe 
it uh, yeah helps you with uh, buying a new graphics card or something like that for rendering purposes like Cinema 4D on Octane or uh, Path Tracing rendering, maybe Blender or something. You know what I mean. So here we got a good practical example about the power of the graphics card. This uh, render here is from the RTX 3090. As you can see it took 3 minutes per frame and I rendered one frame only with the GTX 1070 and yeah as you can see it took so much longer more than yeah 23 minutes that's crazy so as you can see it's <laughs> a lot uh, faster to use the yeah, RTX 3090 instead of the 1070 and yeah, that's a good practical example and uh, now we switch to Cinebench. Here we have the Cinebench, so um, now we try to we try to get a good result at the render of the CPU. So let's try that out. Okay, now we are done with the multi-core CPU test. I only want to do that because many of the programs use this for rendering. But um, as I told you, I use GPU rendering, so I try to find a better place to get the benchmark for the GPU and I don't find anything in the Cinebench uh, R23 uh, so that's because I downloaded the earlier version so now we try uh, the OpenGL test and then we come back and then I'll show you the result so now we got the test done we got uh, 175 FPS yeah that's uh, better than this uh, graphics cards here but as I told you it's a older version that's because I'm on the top here but uh, that doesn't matter so we already did the CPU test so we don't need to do that but um, that we have maybe we have a we have a version of what we got here but yeah this is the end of the video I hope you like this video leave him a like and subscribe to my channel maybe. I make many many videos about uh, 3D rendering and uh, daily render stuff and everything about that. Sometimes I do tutorials and uh, yeah. I hope you like this video. Goodbye guys.